here we go with question number four on this AQA paper, practice paper two. And it says work out a quarter plus a third, and we've got a grid to help us out. Well, we could do this a couple of ways. I'm going to do it the grid way, and I'm going to show you the way to do it without the grid, and then hopefully you'll learn both. So if we want to shave, uh, uh, shade a quarter in, you can see we've got one, two, three, four columns. To shade a quarter in, I just want to shade four columns in. To shave a shade a third in, I've got three columns. So I want to shade a whole column along. So I really want to shade four squares going along. But there's this one filled in. So if I shade in two, three, four, I have to then carry one over and shade that in there. So I wanted to shade a total of uh, four, but I had to. I couldn't fit one in because I already shaded one in blue. So now I've got well, I've got twelve squares in total, and seven of them are shaded. So I get the answer 7 out of 12 is the uh, answer to that, if I add them together. Obviously, if I had to do a subtract, I, I wouldn't be that way around. I could then take squares off, etc. Well, the way to do this without a grid to help us... Oops. Just wait for my computer to catch up on here. Is, well, I need to make the denominators of both of these things the same. So like here I had this grid of 12, I need to make the denominators the same. And the number that 3 and 4 both go into is 12. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. So how did I get from 4 to 12? I had to triple it. So I have to triple the top to keep it the same size. How did I get from 3 to 12? I quadrupled it. I times it by 4. So I have to times the top by 4 as well. So I had 3 out of 12, which is the blue shaded squares, and 4 out of 12, which is the pink shaded squares. And now I can go ahead and count the top at the bottom is 7 out of 12. Okay, so you might want to go back and uh, check this explanation to be able to do this. Because sometimes they won't always give you the grid, they'll just give you the calculation you need to do. So that first bit was two marks. Next bit, they ask us to say, well, there's 24 students in the class. One third of the class are boys who wear glasses one quarter of the class are girls. How many boys do not wear glasses? Well, if we do 24 divided by 3, we get 8 boys with glasses. If we do 24 divided by 4, which is a quarter, we get 6 girls. So that means we know there's a total of 8 plus 6 equals 14. How many boys do not wear glasses? Well, 14 people are already counted for. They're either girls or boys that wear glasses. So we need to do 24 minus 14, which is just the 10. And that was it. That was the last part of the question. Nice straightforward, nice short one.